Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next problem. Here, the problem is a four-pole wave-wound DC generator has developed power of p watts. So, first, write down the given data. That is, it is a four-pole. That's why p equal to four. And it's a wave-wound. Wave-wound means irrespective of the poles. The number of parallel paths A equal to 2 has developed power of P watts. So power is P and brush voltage P is the power and brush voltage brush voltage equal to E volts. Yeah. If one brush is removed, what is the power and the brush voltage both? So the power developed is we can name it as p dash and the voltage across brush is the e dash so here the most important thing it has four number of poles but the parallel path is only two parallel path is only two that means we can take it like this yeah here we have number of poles four so irrespective of the poles we have just am taking the winding this is the armature winding so winding means represents like this but it is the a static diagram what exactly it has number of conductors like this it has only two parallel paths it has only two parallel paths that is one parallel path and again the two parallel path then what happened how many parallel paths are available the time of brushes is available that means it has only two brushes it consisting of the only two brushes for example it is the positive brush it is the negative brush it has only two brushes but in case of the lap winding there is parallel paths will be equal to the number of brushes parallel paths will be equal to 4 here brushes is 2 it is in case of wave winding if it is the lap winding then brushes will become the 4 so we have only 2 brushes 2 brushes means for example it, it, it generates some armature current IA some armature current IA the same armature current will be again come to the loop that will be divided into two currents IA by 2 and again this is the IA by 2 these two currents will entering into the negative terminal from negative terminal to the supply but here he he given in the problem that is if one brush is removed for example just assume this brush is removed this brush is removed means it is open then what happened there is no path for the current there is no path for the current we can take it there is no path for the current and the IA dash will become the zero the current will be entered here but there is no exiting here so current will become zero what about brush voltage brush voltage also there is no point to collect the brush voltage brush voltage will also become the zero therefore the power developed at this condition whenever both will zero then power will also be zero power will also be zero so this is the important case that is in the wave winding itself it is only applied for the wave winding one brush is removed the total power developed will also become zero will also become zero okay these are the different different models regarding the brush voltage and up to now we discussed about the lap winding and wave winding in this again we will recollect some of the points here here yes in lap winding is generally a complete wind why after completion of the winding all the slots are filled up you know that we have some slots for example four four slots are available these all the slots are completed 
like this all the slots will be completed so next this is the method all the slots will be completed like this so we, we have for example it is a two pole six slots number of slots are six then three slots will be completed and six slots will be completed like this so that's why the lab winding is called the complete winding filled up with the armature winding no slots is left empty here there is no slots are empty all the slots are filled here only but what about here here the wave winding here the wave winding is called incomplete winding so name itself it is a incomplete winding the reason is after completion of the winding some of the slots are left empty some of the, some of the slots will become the empty so that means for example we have number of parallel paths only two here the pole c is two so suppose we, we have only pole c is two parallel paths also two we know that but here we have a some four pole machine is available for example it is a four pole machine is available and number of slots are available the slots flowing is like this it will cover the all the things and every slots every pole having some empty things some of the slots will be having the empty parts so that's why that's why it is called incomplete winding name itself incomplete winding after completion of some of the slots are empty these empty slots are filled up with the dummy coils but you should fill up with uh, some coils those are called the dummy coils so this is remaining that's why we should fill with this the dummy coils so some of the coils fill up with the dummy coils yeah for mechanical balance so in order to maintain the mechanical balance we are using the dummy coils if there is no dummy coils means if one side weight will be occur on the winding so to maintain the mechanical balance we are inserting the dummy coil here okay and the dummy coils are similar to the other coils just observe here this black color and the yellow color both are similar both are similar but they are insulated from other coils so these are insulated from the other coils these two coils are insulated each other means they are not connected in any parallel path generally this will be connected but this not will be connected in the any parallel path generally just exist only physically just exist only for physically so to maintain that to, to fill up the empty slots we are using the dummy coils these dummy coils are similar to the normal working coils but we are using the dummy coils the reason is the mechanical balance it is, the reason is only the mechanical balance to maintain the mechanical balance we are using the dummy coils here okay here dummy coins exist only in wave winding so the thing is only the wave winding but not in lap winding why it is in wave winding just observe here lap winding all the slots are filled all the slots are filled but in wave winding some of the slots are empty that's why it is only available in the wave winding circulating currents are made in lap winding so in the lap winding lap winding circulating currents will be produces circulating currents will produce okay these circulating currents are due to the voltage unbalances so here it has sometimes it has some e volt even is developed some it has e to e is developed both the cases same voltage is not developed some of the circulating current will flow inside the winding inside the winding 
so so why the reason the reason is the flux unbalances here the flame same flux will not be available that flux unbalance is the reason the reason for is flux unbalance unbalance means the parallel path having a small difference of flux between these windings due to the circulating current what is the problem with the circulating current the unwanted copper losses and heating effect will be produces what happened with that we, we will get some unwanted copper loss some copper loss will be produces due to the copper loss heating effect will be produces what is the meaning of heating effect it will be become heat it will become the heat okay so circulating currents only in lab winding the reason is for the flux unbalance due to that it will become heat here no circulating currents exist in the wave winding generally wave winding doesn't have any circulating currents because all the parallel paths placed under all the poles all the parallel paths are available it is consisting of the same flux therefore generated eg for all the parallel paths remains equal so here in wave winding no circulating current no circulating current possible lab winding having the only circulating currents okay so this is about the problem and some of the important points regarding the lab winding and the wave winding okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you